The most despicable tobacco-sponsored sport was the Virginia Slims women's tennis circuit, which existed from 1970 to 1995. Through this promotion, Philip Morris could circumvent the ban on TV cigarette advertising, which would go into effect on January the 1st, 1971. The fledgling anti-smoking movement, then focused on banning smoking in public places, was slow to react and did not begin firing back until 1978, when 35 physicians and medical students, members of the University of Miami School of Medicine chapter of DOC, or Doctors Ought to Care, made the first house call on the Virginia Slims tennis tournament in Hollywood, Florida. They renamed it the Emphysema Slims and carried signs such as good to the last breath, a recess filter and a barrel chest, a slim chance, and yes, Virginia, there is a lung cancer. Doc chapters continued to protest Virginia Slims tournaments well into the 1990s in many cities, including Washington, D.C., Houston, New Orleans, Providence, New York, Boston, Newport, and Delray Beach, Florida. At a Philip Morris press conference in 1983 to kick off the Boston Virginia Slims event, Rita Addison, president of Massachusetts Group Against Smoking Pollution, or GASP, posed a question to Billie Jean King that caught the sponsor and players alike off guard. How did King choose to help promote a product that causes lung cancer, which is about to overtake breast cancer as the number one killer of women? Media coverage of the press conference focused on Addison's question and King's praise of Philip Morris. At the March 1985 Emphysema Slims Tennis Tournament in Augusta, Georgia, produced by the students of the Medical College of Georgia, Jesse Steinfeld, dean of MCG and former U.S. Surgeon General, announced that Doc's first annual Warm Award Worst Athlete Role Model would be given to tennis player Martina Navratilova for wearing cigarette brand logos on her tennis dress. MCG held seven annual Emphysema Slims tournaments, each attracting over 50 top players from Georgia and South Carolina. Before the annual event, over 200 area school children would participate in a counter-advertising contest that ridiculed the tobacco and alcohol industries. Winning posters were then displayed along the tennis courts during the tournament. In 1991, Patrick Reynolds, grandson of the late tobacco magnate R.J. Reynolds, was the featured speaker for the three-day event. His last memory of his father, he told the crowd, was an image of a man dying with emphysema because of his addiction to the family brands, Camel and Winston. Houston Mayor Kathy Whitmire proclaimed April 13, 1990, the city's first Throw Tobacco Out of Sports Day in honor of Doc's Emphysema Slim Celebrity Tennis Tournament, while Philip Morris brought its cigarette promotion to the Westside Tennis Club, co-sponsored by the Houston Chronicle and Lexus. The Baylor College of Medicine chapter of Doc and the American Lung Association's San Jacinto area chapter held its Emphysema Slims Tournament at the Homer Ford Tennis Center, sponsored by BMW and Mercedes and hosted by Houston City Councilman Dale Gorchinski, featuring local tennis pros and former NBA and NFL players. On February 23, 1991, DOC member Mark Revo, MD, president of the D.C. chapter of the American Academy of Family Physicians, protested the promotion of tobacco sponsorship through the Virginia Slims Tennis Tournament hosted by George Washington University. In support for Doc's efforts, Dr. Lewis Sullivan, Secretary of Health and Human Services, denounced the tobacco industry for fostering a misleading impression that smoking is compatible with good health, and he urged all sports organizations to shun tobacco sponsors. The D.C. Doc Group called upon George Washington University President Stephen Trachtenberg to disavow its association with the cigarette company. Instead, Trachtenberg defended the tobacco company's sponsorship and bragged about Philip Morris's donation to the medical school for a scholarship for a minority woman and about the university's busing of 250 inner-city young people to the tournament free of charge. We live in a world in which we exchange this for that, he wrote to Revo. The arguments you make about smoking are sound, but in my heart of hearts, I don't believe anyone becomes a smoker because of the Virginia Slims tennis tournament. In response, Revo noted that the student would owe her medical degree to the largest purveyor of death and disease in this country. Is that philanthropy? Along the same lines, Revo wrote, we are struck by the irony of your gift of 250 tickets to the Virginia Slims Tennis Tournament to provide exposure to tennis for our at-risk youth. These youth are probably in the highest risk group for smoking and dying for tobacco-related disease. Trachtenberg continued to defend the scholarship provided by Philip Morris, adding, I prefer to take funds from you than a cigarette manufacturer, but you send me letters and they send me cash. 
As for bringing in the kids, Trachtenberg responded, we didn't put a gun to the heads of the young people who came to see the tennis tournament. We offered them an opportunity. In 1991 and 1992, family physician in New Mexico, Doc President Chris Fletcher, organized a national emphysema slim sports festival and balloon rally in Santa Fe, where the Virginia Slims women's tennis circuit had taken root. The emphysema slims featured Olympic gold medalists, Hollywood actors, and tennis pro Andrea Yeager, once the second-ranked player in the world. On March 8, 1992, leaders of the National Organization for Women, or NOW, teamed up with members of DOC and Miami GASP, group to alleviate smokers' pollution, for a house call on the Virginia Slims Tournament in Boca Raton, Florida. Sheila Jaffe, vice president of NOW's Issues and Action section, worked closely with DOC's executive director, Eric Solberg, to coordinate the effort. They were joined by members of Miami GASP who paid for a plane dragging a banner with the message, Tennis Yes, Tobacco Sponsors No. The plane circled a polo club during the tennis tournament and then flew over a city festival. In 1992, an emphysema slims event was held in five cities across the U.S.